This week, we're talking about jumpers. So far in 2011, the most famous, most newsworthy piece of clothing has not been an Oscar dress, but a jumper. A very, very simple, quite boring jumper. Obviously, likely to be upstaged by the Royal Wedding Dress come April 29th, but until then, the prize for the most talked about piece of clothing of 2011 goes to Sarah Lund's jumper in The Killing. Um, now, what's quite interesting about the whole killing jumper obsession, I think, is that it actually replays a scene that happened a lot at fashion shows in February and March, was that you'd be in a room with lots of very fashionable people and everyone would be wearing like crazy shoes and et cetera. And then somebody would say, I love that. And almost always what they were referring to would be like somebody was wearing some kind of navy jumper that looked like they'd got it from their dad's wardrobe and everyone would completely ignore all the crazy shoes and the feather hats and so on. And I think just the, the very simple, almost anti-fashion jumper is really having a fashion moment. down some of the best ones on the high street today. This one is from American Apparel. They call it their fisherman's jumper. Um, I didn't even realize that American Apparel did jumpers, but they do, and, uh, and I'm gonna race you down there for this one because I just love it. Um, I'm wearing it today with a pencil skirt, which I know doesn't seem like an obvious thing to wear a kind of chunky cotton jumper with, but actually, on the catwalks for next season, the pencil skirt is really coming back in a big way, but that's later down the line. But just so you know, it is. And the way that it's kind of being worn so that it looks a bit more modern, doesn't look kind of, you know, office-y in that kind of lame sense of the word, is you wear it with some kind of jumper-shaped top or a tunic or a kind of like slouchy thing on top. So it's a sort of round shape and then a pencil rather than like a tailored jacket and then a pencil because that's old. Um, so, there we have it. Uh, this is this American Apparel jumper that I love, and we also have it here in a kind of fabulous bright blue. Done some sleeve rolling here, a little styling tip for you. Um, another favorite jumper. I have this jumper in, uh, in uh, gray with the black pocket at home, and I wear it like every single weekend and just think it's absolutely amazing. This is Kinty and Parker who are an um, environmentally conscious cashmere company, and their jumpers are beautiful. They're just very, very simple, proper jumpers that you will just absolutely keep forever. Uh, there's another one here, which is Escondé. Now, this has the same kind of feel to it by dint of the shoulder line. The way that kind of the seam falls off the shoulder here just gives it a very different silhouette to something that has a kind of perky on the shoulder finish here. It makes it, gives it a kind of relaxed sort of look. I mean, I know it's a bit late in the year to be talking about jumpers, so some of these are very fine. I mean, you know, it's spring in, in this country, thus you will still need a jumper. There's another Escandere one. And these ones are very fine and they're really good for layering. I mean, you can wear that over, and you can make that look very different depending on what you wear it over. It looks great over a white t-shirt, look kind of quite crisp and bright, or you can wear it over a kind of like a black silky vest and tight black jeans and it looks quite sort of rock chicky. Again, a real layering jumper. I think you'd have to here because uh, it's basically see-through. Um, but for layering over vests and other pieces and really nice and long, so a good piece for wearing over um, leggings, which are gonna be coming out again soon. And then finally, this one has made the cut by um, having elbow patches, which is another personal obsession, which I think I've been into before, um, which gives it that sort of utilitarian, slightly fisherman angle. This one's by Esprit. So before you go running off to buy your high summer wardrobe of shorts and little vest tops, first invest in a proper jumper. It'll be the best thing you buy this spring.